um, Jairo Cortez, I'm the program coordinator for Orange County Immigrants Youth United. Our mission is to advocate for the rights of undocumented immigrants to live free from exploitation and persecution. Uh, and so we pursue this goal through organizing, organizing campaigns led by uh, undocumented immigrant youth along with like education. And so we have a couple areas of focus. You know, we have our deportation defense program, um, which is tasked with assisting people in deportation proceedings, assisting people who are in detention. We have our youth organizing program, and like, uh, which is doing outreach to like youth, engaging them, and doing sort of like educational work, like inside the high schools. And then like our advocacy component, right? Which is sort of like that systemic, you know, policy advocacy work, right? That's how, so like, within there, right, like, it's like those efforts, right, like, um, when we passed the Sanctuary Ordinance Santana and that, like, the, you know, representation resolution, right, um, along with sort of, like, statewide legislation. Even, like, at our highest capacity, we're not reaching out to a large number of people, like, compared to like the size of the population. Say we're looking at Santana alone, the downtown area has like 90,000 people, right? Just on what's considered downtown Santana, right? There's 90,000 residents. I think like the part, right? Like that we can say it, like where there's been change like in the community, you know, like there's more engagement, right? Because, you know, we've tried to constantly have that, right? That it's not just us, you know, if something's happening, that it's not just us going out to do something about it, right? Like that we bring people in to, you know, take part in that process, to learn and to like amplify, right? Like the message. I think this last year, with the work on the Santana City Jail, right? And the contract that the city had with ICE that's now ending, we, like people had been working on that, on that campaign since like 2013. And for the longest time, it really looked like nothing was gonna happen, right? And then suddenly like there was an opportunity last year, right? When the city tried to actually expand like the scope of like detention in their jail. We found out on a Sunday, the vote was on a Tuesday and we brought like a hundred people to the, like three hours worth of testimony and so that night, right, like they rejected the proposal to expand and it just completely shifted the direction in the opposite way. So by May, they started looking at a study on how to close down the jail completely. Um, they voted to allow the contract to expire, like to not renew it, right, like when it expired in 2020. By December, they voted to actually reduce the maximum number of people the city would detain for ICE. And then last month, ICE went ahead and canceled the contract on their own because of the conditions that we were able to create.